Welcome back to Let's Play an SMW Central Production. We are going to tackle the normal exit to Weeaboo Manor. Now, if you notice behind me, uh, Mario actually had uh, some of those red blocks behind him. If you remember the last time those appeared, there were some on-off switches that we had to press. And that's pretty much what the puzzle that I was talking about in the last video is going to revolve around. But right now, let's just worry about getting across this, shall we? Amazingly, with more skill than I did last time. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more vocal this time. I was kind of worrying about some stuff last time. I just was not in the mood to talk about stuff. Ow. And apparently, after re-watching the last video, those spikes don't move up or down at all. I guess it's just my mind playing tricks on me. So we're moving on right on through. I want to at least... Wow, I'm back here. I need to remember to stay a little bit more, off so more often. But here we are. I want to at least get through the normal exits of both of those levels I took the secret exit to last time. And maybe even get to the water level. Uh, but we'll see how things go. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Other than that... Uh, I, I did want to kind of do like a Ghost House 101. I mentioned a few things last time, but since with this first Ghost House, they're kind of pulling out all the stops. Um, you have bats, which work exactly like Yuri's. Um, as you saw, you had the moving... Uh, Boo, boo, you have these little boo floors and boo ceilings. And we have boos that move towards you when you're looking at them, as well as uh, boos that look tor that move towards you when you're uh, not looking at them, like that one. So, the main puzzle is through this door. We're also going to later see traditional stuff like boo rings, and we'll probably see ghost circles as well. Yeah, they kind of throw out all the stops in this one. So, there's your first ghost house. I don't know what these are supposed to be. The, uh, I don't know whether these Koopas are just scared or whether they're supposed to be ghost Koopas. But they pretty much die like regular Koopas. Now, if you know what to do, the puzzle is not that hard. Haha. -ha. In fact, we need to get up here. But I would advise safe staying through this, because there's some tricky shots you need to make. And I'm not sure... You can try doing without safe stays, but I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it if you mess up. Okay, so there's a switch. We're going to need one of these. First, hit this one. Next, safe stay here. And do this just right, because if not, that happens. Okay, we're taking care of that. Now to actually get what we're supposed to do. So, first off, I'm going to need the springboard. Come here. Come here. Ow. This thing never likes to agree with me. Although, I'm doing better with grabbing it than I have before. Place it right here. Now, hit the on-off switch. You're going to find a gray P-switch. If you look over there, there's a blue P-switch, but as far as I know, you don't need it at all. You just need, you just need the gray one. Gray one. So now we need to go back up here. <sighs> okay. Ow. Points for peaceful style. Okay. Moving right along. We're gonna need the peace switch all the way over here. And if you if you wondered why actually. If you wonder why I actually hit that on-off block back there, it's because we're going to need that block, uh, and that, I think, was what? On for that. We need it open. Let me press the P-switch for this. Now, on-off blo block puzzle time. Okay, you're going to want to jump grab these. Uh, jump and grab. Oh. 
Okay, got it. This is actually the part I hate of this, is doing all of these, all this stuff. Okay. I want to pick this one this time. And... Okay, and that actually worked out. I was wondering how I was going to do that, but that kind of worked. Okay. Let's just... I like how the hit detection for those is actually bigger. Okay, you don't want to go down here. You actually want to just go over here, hit this, Move on through. And that's actually all there was to that puzzle. It's a lot harder when you're trying to figure it out for yourself. Seriously? Okay. Let's say stay here. Okay. We're actually close to being done with the level. Because by doing all that stuff, we actually opened the way to this section. And we're jumping down. Wait a minute. You mean there was something under me the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately, if you just tried, tried to jump from anywhere, you'd die. You can only jump from that one specific spot. But we're that close to the exit, and that's what the entire puzzle element was about. So we actually didn't spend all that, all that much time in here. And where this warp takes us is actually... Right to the castle. So you have a shortcut to Grinder Castle. However, I want to be going the regular way. So let's go all the way back to Hydra Hills. We're going to be taking the normal exit this time. Uh, which, there's a lot more to this level than... Why do I keep on doing that? Get it back! It tricks me. Every single time. Come here. Okay. This time, let's try it without save states. Well, what do you know? Okay, so moving right along. even further than that. I should stop being a little, I should probably start stop being a little careless. I'm gonna ride the dolphin, because I feel like it. Whee! So, there's a lot more to this level than what we originally saw. Like, last time, we went this far. There's more. There was a whole underground part, as I'm about to show you. Now, you saw a little bit of this last time, but we're only scratching the surf, the tip of the iceberg with this one. Ooh, cool. Okay. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. See, I think I'm I think last time I was mentioning old school difficulty. Um, how I compared it to, especially with a level that's coming up, is about this is getting near to like old, about the old Donkey Kong Country difficulty, and it gets harder than that. But if you're not wanting to do a safe stage, you're probably gonna be dying quite a few times. Now. It, is possible if you really want to try it without save states, but definitely not uh, on your first couple playthroughs. Now, so we're actually thinking it might be about midway through this underground part. It 
brings about, about like, Buzzy Beetles, Lob Chucks. We're going to be seeing more of these Chucks in a later level. Actually, this is the end of the underground part. And the end of the level, actually. Maybe it wasn't as long as I was thinking. That distinction might go to a later level, which is the one I was talking about the Chucks. It has a very brutal underground part. And I am really not looking forward to playing that one again. So let's move on to the next uh, level, which is Flooded Crater. Which I love the music to this level. Donkey Kong Country music for the win. And it kind of reminds me in its own way of Donkey Kong Country as well. Kind of taking it slow, trying to maneuver, maneuver and avoid enemies. And there are a lot of enemies. Including our favorites. No sarcasm. The rip, the rip bomb fish. Oh, and Torpedo Ted's. I just love Torpedo Ted's. Ever since I first encountered them in Super Mario World with, in, I think it was Soda Lake. I kind of prefer them when they're on land where I can actually spin jump off of them. Now let's try to avoid these uh, yellow fish. Now I'm not sure what's up that pipe because I can't break it. But now we have to maneuver through these uh, urchins while avoiding the rip-on rip fish. So I'm going to save state because we're gonna be, I'm going to be experiencing some lag and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get these things off my tail. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Going the right way? Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. Come on. I don't want to die. Come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Ah! Get off my tail! Stupid parrotfish! Oh, great. Don't tell me I have a waiting segment. Come on. Now, hopefully you see why I was talking about Donkey Kong Country difficulty. I actually found the water levels in Donkey Kong Country easier than this. That was just me. So, if I might just start screaming at any moment now. Okay, good. It's asleep. 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 Go down, Mario. Faster. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I think we're getting close. To oh no. 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 Yeah, we're at the end. And just despite us, they put in two more cheap cheeps, yellow cheap cheeps, right in front of the exit. And actually, the first time I played, I played through this level, I was trying to avoid those uh, p those parrotfish so much, I actually ran into the cheap cheeps. Now we're done with uh, Flooded Crater, and I think we might have enough time to do P Switch Peak. Let's try it. Oh, then, then again, I remember the Peace Switch Peak uh, having quite a few puzzle elements to it. So let's see how much how, what I can do to get through here. Okay, here's a great Peace Switch. And a whole bunch of these guys. Okay, come on. Probably safe state occasionally. Stuff like that. I'm kind of hurry. Okay. Come here. Okay, I'm gonna need a blue P switch. Aha. Take that. No, no, I need my... And... 
can jump. Come here. I think they're actually getting me either way there, really. Okay, where is the place I'm supposed to use this at? I'll go down here, I guess. Hi! Oh boy. No, 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 no. Ah, here we go. Take this. Okay. I think we're gonna need that. Okay. Now I have this. I think I can go back up here. I think I have two options. One is... Beginning. Ha, here we go. Hey. Try to kill me. Ha ha. Take that. Sewer brother. Is there anything over here? Over here. Nope. Okay, this should help me a little bit. Oh, it helped me for a little bit. I guess I get a new, new the spring. Okay, oh, that reset pipe. That means puzzle. Okay, I'm going to need... I'm going to need a grace piece switch. What we need to actually get that blue piece switch is actually down below me. So... switch. So now we have the gray piece switch. Let's, let's go get the blue piece switch. And grab that there. Yeah, I'm kind of wanting to finish this video in a certain amount of time, so I'm kind of rushing my way through. So, let's press this. Okay, I want to get the center coin. Come on. It is a whole lot easier when I'm small. I mean, not small, big. Okay, that should be good. So. That works. Now that I have this. Just toss this up. And I had the blue piece switch. So now I think this is the final bit that I need to actually finish the level. Now I'm gonna need another blue, blue egg, another grace piece switch. Or not. Okay. I think we're up right at the end. Yep, there we go. And I got the tape at 29. And I'm finished right about on time. So right near the end of uh, World 2, next time we'll get both exits to Football Canyon, there's another level down below us, and of course, Grinder Castle. So until then guys, this is Bulbazak, signing out.